Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Katherine Young and I'm a creative. And today you have landed in my 30 Days Thrifting Goodwill series. If you want to see more of those videos, they will be linked up here and below in a full playlist so you can watch all kinds of thrift with me videos. And today it is a rainy day and we are in Savage, Minnesota. This is a southern suburb of Minneapolis. And actually the store is just open and the parking lot is pretty empty. So maybe we'll get some good finds because no one else is in there. Goodwill is one of the most common thrift store chains across the US. And here in the Twin Cities, Minnesota, we have a lot of them. And I asked y'all if you would like a thrifting series in Goodwill and well, by overwhelming majority, you said yes. So come along with me as we go thrifting here in the land of 10,000 lakes. We'll go from store to store, a new store each day, and we'll find some amazing vintage deals, some items we can quickly flip for a profit, and some items to collect. We'll also find some surprises along the way. <laughs> So join me for 30 Days Thrifting Goodwill. Let's see what's in store. <laughs> okay, y'all. Let's see if a rainy day leads to amazing thrifting finds. I am first heading over to the purse section. Now, I always check out the purses um, for vintage purses. Vintage purses is something that I collect personally and I use vintage purses regularly. Um, I love to switch out my pur purses. Um, I use different purses all the time. Um, I love getting comments on my purses. It's just something fun I like to do. And I'm not seeing a heck of a lot. I'm seeing some 90s styles here which honestly are pretty big right now, but they're just not what I'm looking for. I really like purses that are like 60s, 50s, 40s, 30s. Um, but you know, a random one-off 90s or 80s purse is something I enjoy. That is super trendy. Those circle weaved baskets were all over the runway this spring. That was fun to see. Heading back towards the art through the furniture. And they just have so many like really nice couches here. I'm just kind of blown away. That's a lot of couches. And of course, a hobby horse. I feel like all the furniture sections have these little hobby horses. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure why. I really like these like 80s style um, tables. They're really cool. I, that, yeah, those are really neat. Um, I really like this chest. I spend way too long struggling to try to open it, um, but I never do get it open. I wanted to see if there was a picture inside um, on the lid, but those are some really neat finds. Now I am headed over to the artwork. Rock conquers all. Oof, I am a rocker chick, y'all, so I agree with that. I'm also a Disney fanatic, so we just found we just found me in the art section. <laughs> I really like this piece. Now, this is one of those like lacquered on things from the 70s. Um, it's a very specific audience, though, with those colors. I do think it's a good price, but I'm just not entirely sure. I put it in my cart um, to think about it, but I don't know if I'm going to pick it up because... Yeah, the, the colors are just, it's a really specific audience because of the colors in that artwork. Still looking, we have the those world maps. I think those are really neat. And yeah, that's basically the art section. I did, however, see this. <laughs> um, I think that would be great on my front door. <laughs> Over in the lamp graveyard, saw that shade, thought that was pretty neat. 
definitely felt like something for over a pool table or something. Not a heck of a lot here, though. I do like that embroidered shade. Modern, but I still thought it was different. Yeah, not a heck of a lot here. Little, little milk glass guy hanging out, but that is it. Now over in like the suitcases, there was these Halloween displays and there was also this cool old um, like car garage toy. I thought these were kind of neat. I think they were just shoved here because there was enough space for them. Now we have a really fun like farmhouse end cap. Um, look at all the blue bow geese. <laughs> Oh, I laugh, but they are coming back in. They are popular again. So, um, yeah, this is a really fun end cap. It's not my style, but I do appreciate it. I think the items on it are really just nice quality items, um, especially over here. This looks to be like an artist upcycle piece, and I think it's really done well. Um, yeah, I really, really like this piece. I actually pull it out to get a better look at it. And isn't that just so nice? $4.99 for all of that? I thought that was a good deal for someone. I really like that piece. And way to go, artist, for upcycling vintage. Now we're over in like this backpack like kind of section. And I thought this was neat. I thought it would be really good for estate sales because it has a, a flat bottom. And then I liked this piece too. I take way too long to try to figure out how to open it and I never do figure it out. But I really like that piece and I love the color of it. Um, if I could have opened it, I might have actually picked it up. Who knows? Um, looking, looking, looking. And this is an adorable recipe box. I love recipe boxes, but I can't sell them to save my life. So... It isn't something I'm going to pick up, even though I think it's a really good find and stinking cute. Now, back here, this is pretending to be vintage, and it matches this piece right here. But they're really cool, and I think they would be neat if you themed a room like, like the Jungle Cruise at Disney or, you know, like the Mummy movies. I just think they're a neat look. Now on the other side of that aisle is all the baskets and I'm seeing one of these um, Asian sewing baskets. That's really neat. And then um, up here, I thought this was maybe the lid to that, but I, I don't think it actually is. It's a separate piece. And there's a duck. This is so hard to go through when everything is kind of piled up like this. Um, but I did find this really cool thing. I saw this and I was like, well, where, where's the rest of it? And there it was. So I really looked into this piece um, because it's just kind of neat for display to have like that human body like that. If you're interested in like oddities like I am that's actually a really neat thing um so I thought that was pretty cool this tapestry is modern but it's very beautiful the colors are super calming um looks like it's it's from like TJ Maxx or whatever but um I thought that was a really nice find And hi, squishy friends. <laughs> oh, they're so dang cute. Oh, and who's this? Oh, it's a little ladybug. <laughs> Lots of squishy friends in this aisle. <laughs> now we're checking out the candle section. They have a lot more pillar candles at this location than most locations. I was actually really impressed with how many there were. Then that moves on into the picture frames. And I saw this whole stack and I think this is interesting for like an art project. If you're an artist and you picked up all these similar frames, you could create works of art that all go together or editions of art. I thought that was neat. Ooh, and you know your girl loves a holiday section. Love to see it. 
So let's check out all the fun goodies on this shelf. Lots of fun stuff. Not necessarily that old, that vintage, but it's still just fun to see all these different goodies on the shelf. Ooh, that was neat. Tons of like craft supplies. That's a really good deal on that bag. Ooh, and what's back there? Ooh, and we got some ornaments. Sorry for the shaky camera, y'all. Sometimes it happens. <laughs> Love that. Those are really pretty, even if they're newer. They have a very mid-century vibe, a very 60s mod vibe. And I do love this guy. He is a hobbyist piece. He has quite a few chips. So there's a lot happening there. Um, and he's big and bulky, but I do like him. And I think he's a good price. Also love the spider picture. How fun is that? A decorating kit. I did love this piece. I did end up leaving it there, but it is a hobbyist piece. And I thought they did an exceptional job. Super duper cute. This is probably from the 80s, I'm guessing. But yeah, that was a really cute piece. It was just very, very large. And I didn't want to hold on to it for a long time. Love that cute pumpkin. That's another hobbyist piece. This is probably from like Home Goods or something like that. Yeah, just some really, really cute things in the uh, holiday section. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's super cute. Okay, we got to we gotta move this and get a better look. Now, this does have some chipping, and it's missing some of its little danglies. But isn't that cake stand adorable? Very, very cute. I really like that. Now we're looking at more like Christmassy stuff on the same aisle. Nothing really like vintage, but there is some cute stuff here. I truly do believe that for the holidays, anyone can decorate for the holidays using thrift stores. I truly do believe that. Um, seasonal decor is one of... Um, some of the most wasteful consumer products. And you can find so much of it at thrift stores because people get rid of it. I realized that the tag was like facing me originally um, and I never do find it. I'm looking for it later, but it was, it was facing me. But I think that's gorgeous and would be cute in mid-century decor. Look at this plate. Wouldn't that look so great with that cake stand? Really cute. And I have no idea what's going on in here. I mean, what the hell, ladies? <laughs> I mean, I'm just really creeped out by this whole scenario. I don't... Yeah, and Santa's really disturbed. I mean, it takes a lot to disturb Santa, and he's, he's disturbed too. <laughs> Lots of fun Santas over here. They're more modern. I saw this little nutcracker. He was kind of cool. Lots of damage, though. Um, originally a Pier 1. You can tell he's, like, missing a flag and such, but I just thought he was neat. Um, I'm kind of bummed that he had so much damage. Now we are on the opposite side of that aisle, and it's mainly knickknacks, and there are these beautiful dolls um love them so much oops 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 <laughs> all good saved her <laughs> but yeah we we see these often where i live um just because of the demographics of the area um and i just think they're all really beautiful i'm sure someone will love them let's see what else i can find Here is a piece of Mexican pottery. I don't think there's anything particularly special about that, though. I thought this was kind of funky and fun. I'm guessing it's for napkins, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of silly. 
And look at this little dude. It looks like he came from an estate sale. What a little weirdo. Who is this? Is this a cartoon character I don't know about? Or is it a hobbyist piece? I don't know. It's a rainy day. How fitting. <laughs> this is like a reproduction piano baby. Um, he's way too small to be a piano baby. Um, that's a pretty bottle, but it didn't have a stopper. And you know I love the squirrels on the nuts. I always have to check them out. <laughs> Thought that was a gorgeous piece of pottery. Wow, that was really different and really neat. And I thought this piece was beautiful. This looks to be from the estate sale as well. Really pretty, really lustery. Reminds me of like made in Brazil pieces. And look at that, isn't that neat? It's like five dolls in one. I thought that was really spectacular. I think somebody's absolutely going to love that. It looks to be in good condition, and that's a great price. That is a really great find for someone. Look at that. Isn't that just so beautiful? Saw this chalkware piece. Pretty darn large, but then I realized it also had its pair, so that was pretty cool. Um, but I more or less want to pay $5 for the pair, not for both. So um, I did pass on those, but I thought they were really nice, and they actually didn't have that much damage. thought this was cute. I wasn't quite sure what it was for, and then look at this. Look at it. Isn't that magnificent? Holy crap, that's huge. Look how big that is. Wow, looks like it's a made in Mexico. I mean, that's freaking ginormous. Found this piece of pottery. Um, It's in pretty good condition, but it's also pretty plain. So I kind of don't see that big of a profit margin on it for me, but I do like it. This is a pretty kind of woodsy end cap. It isn't my style, but I still appreciate that the end cap was kind of themed. I like this piece. Kind of reminds me of like those 70s um, copper sculptures, except this thing is like a moose picture holder. So kind of interesting modern take on that idea. Now we are in the wood aisle. Praying hands, I win. <laughs> this eagle was epic. It was so ungodly heavy though. I just, wow. Very regal, sir. Very regal. <laughs> I just realized there was a sign there that says flush. Hmm, okay. I thought this was just super unique. I haven't really seen anything like that before. Yeah, and let's check out the other side of the aisle. And what do we have here? Really fun. This is a um, little vintage display for the wall. I think that's a decent price for how large this display is and it having multiple pieces. It's in good condition. I really like you, little Bo Peep. I'm going to put you in my cart. <laughs> And then I think this is supposed to look like Worf, but it looks more like Gowron with those eyes. So any of my Trekkie peeps here, what do you think? <laughs> now we're in the metal aisle. I saw this and it's like some sort of collector plate, but it is like the heaviest plate I've ever seen. And I don't know who Kate Greenway is. I'm sure somebody knows who they who she is. God, there's so many markings on this. I'm I'm assuming this is a super important plate and I'm just clueless. But that that was a very very elaborate plate. These are lovely. I like the pair.
And I do like this cake stand down here. I think that's nice. Could look really nice in a vintage themed kitchen. I really do like that. Now we are over in like the kitchen uh, dining kind of area and that is a cute hobbyist piece. Just screams mid-century to me with that drip glaze and the vibrant colors. And there's another hobbyist piece that would match it really well. I'm trying to read. Oh, it's not a hobbyist piece. It's something else. Okay. Okay, my bad. That was not a hobbyist piece. I thought this set was really stunning. The way the glaze was really, really pretty. But I'm just, I'm, I feel like the set is missing something. Do you? This was lovely too. I thought this looked like maybe a made in Italy piece. And then this was neat. It's always cool to see like a true antique. That was from 1905. I just wish it was more interesting in detail. That's pretty. Looks like a mid-century piece of glass. I'm not a huge fan of the color though. Ooh, and I like this. I've seen this a few times. I believe these are hobbyist pieces. Look how cute the details are on those, right? The person did a really good job, and I feel like that is a that is a good price on that. This is a very large piece, and it looks to have a little bit of damage, but isn't that lovely? Oh, look at that teapot. That is a bougie, bougie teapot. <laughs> oh, goodness. Walk away, Catherine. Walk away. Now we're over in the glasses. And I thought this was really cool. That is screaming 1930s to me. It does have some age, but isn't that a neat uh, little vase piece? I really like that. And then this tricked me. I thought it was an older piece, but looking underneath, it wasn't as old as I thought it was, but I still think it's really beautiful. Really lovely. Lots of glasses. I thought these were kind of interesting. I've just never seen them before. Um, I'm assuming they're modern. And no, they don't glow. I checked. <laughs> Oh, and under here, look at that beautiful transferware bowl. Oof, the colors and the pattern on that are really striking with the, the spaced out coloring. Decent price on this. I find tr these big, large transfer pieces a lot. Now we're over in the vases, and I think they have a lot of beautiful vases. I was thinking this is Hager. Kind of looked like Hager. They have, they do, they have a lot of beautiful pieces, a lot of modern pieces, but very beautiful. This, I think, is modern. It feels kind of mid century, but I'm pretty sure it's modern. I mean, dang, they have some gorgeous vases, right? Oh, y'all. And it's one of these sad glass sculptures somebody put together. Whoever thought these were a good idea? Oh. Look at this pretty end cap. All about love and Perry. I like it. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, does this actually not have damage? That is super impressive. This piece is ginormous, so I'm not going to pick it up. But it, I'm, I'm, I'm just in awe that it might not have any damage on the flowers. Like that just doesn't happen. So that is an amazing find for someone, y'all. And that's the end of this shop along. Okay, I thought we did pretty well in there. I ended up picking up Bo Peep. So that is the item that I got, and um, I thought it was a good deal. 
It looks like the original set only had the two sheep. I was afraid she had three and was maybe missing one. But the two sheep is all she's supposed to have. So I love her. I think she's super kitschy. And I think she'd be really fun to bring to a live sale with another seller who has a very kitschy aesthetic. There's no crying and thrifting, little Bo Peep. Get your act together. <laughs> and that is it, y'all. Uh, if you enjoyed this content, please subscribe and stick around. More to come. And stay creative. Bye!